Hey, I am Manish Mulchandani. NEET 2017 AIR 3 and AIMS 2017 AIR 10. Today, I will be discussing some important topics for NEET as well as an AIMS for the subject chemistry. To begin with, physical chemistry. The most important topic that we start our class 11 preparation is mole concept and stoichiometry. Every kind of numericals can be asked in the examination and at least two questions in the NEET examinations out of 45 are definitely from mole concept and stoichiometry. So this is a must and this forms a base for the next uh, next portion of your physical chemistry which you will be studying after that. Then, then comes atomic structure. Bohr's model is very important. The total energy, physical uh, potential energy, kinetic energy, velocity, radius and all the aspects of the atom and the electron revolving in the outer or the inner shell are important. The various drawbacks and various advantages of Bohr's theory are important. Then atomic structure also has some important topics like photoelectric effect which is a sure shot topic not only for physic physical chemistry but also for modern physics. And we have questions based on spectrum, emission and absorption spectrum which, also, which are also very important from NEET and AIMS point of view. From the chapter states of matter, you need to know what is an ideal gas, what are the properties of an ideal gas and efficiently use uh, the equation PV equal to NRT. You should, know, you should know how to solve numericals based on this equation and in most of the equations you will not need to put the value of R, it will be simply eliminated because both sides of the equation will have R. So it's better to eliminate uh, R or to cancel it rather than uh, doing lengthy calculations. Apart from that, you also need to be well versed with the uh, real gas and the Van der Waals equation for real gas. The two constants A and B and the uh, parameters of the gas, the atomicity and uh, size and forces of attraction, the various things that affect A and B are important. You will be uh, getting to see questions in need in which you will be asked to compare the A and B that is the Van der Waals constants for different gases like H2, N2 and so. Chemical equilibrium and ionic equilibrium are also two very important topics. Law of mass action is important. Apart from that, titration and KSP. These are two very very important topics for uh, from equilibrium and they are surely asked in need. Thermodynamics is also very important. Uh, from thermodynamics, you should know how to calculate work done when you are given a graph. You should know about the various processes, isobaric process, isometric process, adiabatic process and uh, some other processes which are taught. So you should be well familiar with them. Apart from that, you will be sure to be familiar with Mayer's equation, Cp minus Cv equal to R and how does the atomicity of the gas affects its uh, heat capacity and upcoming to redox. Most important thing that you need to learn in redox is the balancing of redox equations. But if you get an exam uh, question in the examination to balance an equation and if you balance it using the technique which is usually taught in the coaching classes or in your school, then you will end up consuming a lot of your time. So the question will be absurd like AKMNO4 plus BH2O2 give this and this. So the stoichiometric coefficients will be replaced by variables like ABCD and you will be asked out to find the values of ABCD. So what you can do, you can simply put the values from the options which you seem are likely to be the correct option. And once you have verified after putting the value in the uh, equation, you can simply take it. This will save at least a minute of yours, which is very important. Coming to physical chemistry of class 12th, solid state is a very important chapter in which you should be familiar with all the lattices and the relation between the radius of the atom and the side of the cube, the packing fraction, the Z and the various defects of solid states and the examples. The examples given in the NCRT of defects are very very important. In surface chemistry, enzyme catalysis, adsorption and surface tension are important. In chemical kinetics, first order, zero order and pseudo first order reactions are important. You should also know about enzyme kinetics and how the enzyme kinetics attains saturation and what are you may be given numericals to find out what is the rate of formation of this product or due to, or you may be given the concentration of the reactants and the concentration of the product that is being formed per second and you may be asked to find out the RDS. So these are some important questions for physical chemistry. Now coming to inorganic chemistry. Inorganic chemistry starts with periodic table. 
so you should be familiar with the various trends of the periodic table when you go from left to right as well as when you go from top to bottom of the periodic table you should know all the trends all the important trends like ionization energy and electron affinity the reciprocal of which is electron gain enthalpy electronegativity atomic radius and atomic volume to some extent so these are some important topics from uh, uh, periodic table you should learn only the exceptions which are uh, important and are given in the ncert you should not learn each and every value because it is practically not possible for us to learn each and every value and apart from that it will also waste your time in chemical bonding vbt is very important you should be uh, familiar with the lewis structure to calculate the number of sigma and pi bonds to find out the hybridization to find out the bond order in molecular orbital theory you should only be familiar with the electron configuration for various species and how to find out the bond order of uh, according to the molecular orbital theory for s block p block and hydrogen you need to focus only on the reactions and the main properties given in the ncert the various compounds of hydrogen that are discussed like h2o2 h2o the various compounds or uh, found by the p block elements the allotropes of p block elements like allotropes of phosphorus allotropes of carbon are very very important the physical properties of sio2 and what are the differences between diamond and buckminster fullerene and graphite are also important but you the your main focus while reading s block p block and hydrogen should be to not to waste your time by reading reactions which are given in the modules of various coaching classes and in various reference books but you should focus on ncert so that minimum effort yields you maximum output coming to inorganic chemistry of class 12 metallurgy you should be familiar with all the general processes which are used for the extraction of metals you should be familiar with the names of the important ores used to uh, extract metals commercially after that coordination compounds is also another important topic in coordination compound you should be familiar with the structures as well as isomerism because isomer you, you will be asked questions like how many isomers of this compound are possible are these two compound isomers you will be asked whether these two compounds are cis trans isomers or optical isomers or uh, structural isomers so you should be familiar with it d and f block elements are not asked to a great extent in neat and aims so you should be only familiar with the general properties and atomic configuration the electronic configuration of the d and f block elements just because they are anomalous and anomalous are very important coming to organic chemistry organic chemistry starts with general organic chemistry which i used to love a lot the main things which are, which are important in uh, general organic chemistry are acidity and basicity you will be given four or five compounds and you will be asked to compare the acidity or basicity or pka pkb of these compounds so you have to use various effects like plus m plus h plus i effects you should be familiar with the resonating structures which resonating structures are most stable which are not stable which are possible which are not possible and you should be familiar with uh, the various electrophilic nucleophilic substitution reactions you should be familiar with addition reactions because they are very important as far as neat and aims are concerned this is for general organic chemistry as far as other compounds like haloalkanes haloarenes phenols alkanes ethers are concerned you will be able to uh, do the reactions or solve the reactions if you have learned the basic concept of electrophilic and nucleophilic substitution so lay a special emphasis on that because a lot of questions will be based on that apart from that you have some portions in organic chemistry like biomolecules polymers and chemistry in everyday life which we generally tend to ignore so instead of ignoring these topics you have to read the ncert thoroughly why because three or four very simple questions will be asked from these chapters which you can easily answer if you have read it and and if you remember it for polymers you need to remember only the names of the monomers and the various special properties which make the polymer useful for a particular task that's it for polymer not no more uh, rules or no more information is required for polymers biomolecules is is almost similar to the biomolecules study in biology and as far as chemistry in everyday life is concerned you need to learn the names of all the drugs that are given you need to dr- learn the names of at least one drug of each class like you need to learn the names of antidepressants which are given anti acidity anti histaminics which are given in the ncert because they will be directly asked the names so friends these were some important topics for chemistry like the video subscribe to our youtube channel and stay updated on other universities and entrance exams 
Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and www.careers360.com.